Step 1. Download Laka OS. You will find the download link in the description below. Step 2. Burn Laka to a TF card. Insert a micro TF card into a standard sized adapter. Then insert it into your computer. Use an image burner such as Etcher to open the Laka image and select your TF card as the target. Press flash to begin burning. Check the TF card, then remove it. Step 3. Boot from the TF card. Insert the TF card into your Vim 1. Plug in a USB-C cable for power and a HDMI cable for video output. Then rapidly press the middle button three times to enter Mask from mode. This only works on Vim 1 version 1.4. You may also plug in a USB game controller. Most controllers are supported by Laka. Games are included in the image so that you can get started quickly. Step 4. Connect to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi can be found in the Settings menu. Select your network and enter the password. You are now online. Step 5. Multiplayer games. To play multiplayer, first select a ROM, then exit and go to Netplay Rooms. Select Start Netplay Host, then give your IP address to your friend. Your friend will need to go to Netplay Rooms, then select Connect to Netplay Host. Enter your Vim1's IP address and he will be connected. Ensure that your friend is on the same LAN or subnet as you are. Step 6. Load your own ROMs. Plug in a USB thumb drive containing some ROMs. Navigate to the plus icon on the upper right, then select Scan Directory. Navigate to the directory where you store your ROMs. Select Scan This Directory and wait for it to finish. Exit the plus menu. Observe that a new game controller icon has appeared to the right. When connected to Wi-Fi, you may choose to download thumbnails for your ROMs. Now you are ready to play. Select an emulator, then press Run again.